Lara Croft in early Tomb Raider games had unrealistic proportions to say the least, with an impossibly narrow waist and oversized breasts. This might seem pleasant to look at, but in reality, it is a far cry from what a real female body should look like. I'm sure that the game developers went for these character design features intentionally, but if you want to create realistic 3D character models, you need an in-depth knowledge of anatomy to create something that looks convincing. But since the game devs know what they are doing in terms of anatomy, they have the skills to make us believe that it is possible. It takes a solid knowledge of anatomy to create a character that moves and appears like a real person, because the human body is a marvel of biochemical engineering. Again, the design choice of Lara was seen as prioritizing a sexualized appearance over realism, and later games have attempted to make her appearance more realistic, which for me does not take away from the overall experience of the game, maybe just a little bit. Before we continue, if you want to learn about anatomy and character creation in Blender from scratch and from professional instructors who actually work in the industry, I recommend you take a look at Victory 3D which is a sponsor of today's video. Well, simply put, Victory 3D is a platform that has courses about everything related to digital sculpting, 3D modeling, texturing, anatomy, and a lot more. Each course they provide will help you learn the skills you need to succeed, and it will give you the ability to create high-quality projects. Overall, the platform offers more than 600 hours of excellent content that will get you started and refine your skills around stuff like game development and animation. From what I have seen, the courses are clearly organized on the website, which is also very user-friendly, and you can keep track of the lessons you've completed. In addition, you're able to download the courses and watch them offline. The tutorials are all step-by-step -step and project-based, and the teachers are experienced professionals who are prepared to walk you through the proper workflow and explain the reasoning behind technical and artistic decisions. You can learn about environment and character creation for games as well as asset creation, or you can learn also about anatomy and character creation in Blender, which they have a course about that we're gonna cover later in this video if you are interested. So the question is, why good anatomy is important? And why 3D artists need to learn it in the first place and why they have to do it early on. So for anyone who want to create something that looks great, especially when it comes to characters, anatomy is a must. In fact, it is one of the most important fundamentals of art alongside perspective, form, structure, and so on. Anatomy is important for 3D artists also because it provides the foundation for understanding how the human body is constructed, in addition to how it moves and how it interacts with the environment. A good understanding of anatomy helps artists create more realistic and believable 3D models of humans, animals, and other creatures. I know, anatomy at first might seem complicated and hard to understand, but once you get a solid grip over it, it will pay off tremendously by elevating your character design to the next level. One of the biggest problems a lot of artists fall for when it comes to creating characters is getting proportions wrong. But a good understanding of anatomy helps you create a more accurate 3D models of characters, with correct proportions and realistic muscles and bone structures. If you do this, it will just seem right. But if you get it wrong, you will feel like as if something is missing, even if you don't know what it is. This is the case because our eyes and brains are trained to see perfect anatomy, whether it be actually the physical bodies or their movements every single day. So if you mess it up, it will stand out in your work as something not done right. Professional artists can create characters that are not accurate from an anatomy perspective, but the thing is, they get away with it. For example, Lara Croft with huge breasts and narrow waist, or in the case of the Hulk with huge forearms, hands and legs, but it is still created in a way that makes it look good and pleasant to look at. If those character artists didn't understand the average human anatomy, there is no way they could have created something like this. Aside from creating something that looks right, 3D animation in VFX especially seeks to achieve perfect realism. So understanding anatomy also allows artists to create more realistic animations and movements for their characters, because they can anticipate how the body would move and behave. In advanced animation and VFX projects, animators actually go to an extent of creating every possible muscle, bone, and tissue on a human or an animal. 
They create these realistic simulations where muscles interact with bones, fat, tendons, ligaments, and so on. So they might as well create nerves and blood vessels for that matter, because what they create is so good and so complex. Some of the tools that make creating things like this possible is for example Ziva VFX, which has intuitive tool set so artists can replicate the effects of physics and simulate any soft tissue material, including muscles, fat and skin to create blockbuster quality assets, which is required at that level of course. It was used in many movies including Godzilla vs Kong, Venom, Suicide Squad and more. There are also proprietary tools like tissue, which is owned by Weta Digital. Tissue works in a similar way. It takes the opposite approach, going from the inside out, so artists can create detailed skeletons, then layer on muscles and fat, and as the character moves, tissue would calculate how this anatomy would move in the real world, and it drives the skin deformation based on that. The thing is, animators still control the main movements, however, the subtle skin motions happen automatically. If anything, this shows how important anatomy is and why it is a big portion of the process of creating good looking characters. As I promised earlier, if you want to start learning anatomy, there is a good place to start with this course by Corazon and Bryant, a 3D artist who studied media arts and animation and has worked in many different fields, including architecture and entertainment. Her goal now is to educate artists on various fields by providing an affordable and effective learning system that will make it easier for students to get a job in the 3D industry. And she found that 3D artists, particularly self-taught ones, frequently struggle when attempting to create a good-looking character. This is likely due to the fact that artists didn't devote enough time to learning and mastering the human anatomy, which would have allowed them to fully comprehend underlying structure of the human body. So now let's check out this content of this course and see what you're gonna learn. The course is divided into 21 chapters with almost 190 videos to watch. The first thing you're gonna learn is the anatomy of each body part individually, like facial anatomy, the arms and legs anatomy, plus the torso and neck anatomy, in addition to the hand and foot. Furthermore, you're gonna learn how to recognize muscles, bones and fat from actual pictures. You will also learn about the skeletal system and each individual muscle that is visible on the surface. Additionally, you will discover some anatomical terminology and how to identify gender differences and body proportions. The character basic form, which is the next section of this training, teaches you where the muscles come from and where they go when they are connected. And the way to do this is to learn about character basic forms, where you will learn the basic form and shape of each body part such as the basic forms of the face, torso, legs and arms, as well as how to adjust the size of the body to match the size of the actual world. After finishing that, you will move on to the real deal, where you will go directly into practice by trying to make a Thor model, which will teach you how to create realistic characters from scratch. You will first start by making the armor base and sculpting the cape, which doesn't require too much knowledge of human anatomy. The next part, as you might have guessed, is learning about how to do retopology for the character. Generally speaking, each lesson in this section lasts on average 25 minutes in a span of 17 lessons. After completing this section, you will learn how to fix topology, in addition to planning for retopology and of course perform retopology on various body parts independently. In this training, you will also learn how to make human skin lifelike how to create hair using sculpting tools and geometry nodes, and how to composite and enhance renders. Other than that, the training videos also cover rigging, texturing, and posing. The course has many parts, therefore, we won't go into detail about everything, so we will let you find out about these for yourself. Anyway, I believe after watching this, you will guys have a greater understanding of how anatomy actually works, especially when it comes to creating 3D characters and specifically if you're going for realistic ones. Therefore, I strongly advise you guys to invest some time in learning this topic. If you want to learn it properly from scratch, then this course can be a step towards the right direction. The best thing about these classes on this platform which is Victory 3D is how reasonably priced they are. Each course costs around $15, which is a very good price compared to other platforms. You can also buy a $7 per month membership that allows you to access all Victory's 3D courses, including all the future courses. 
so if you guys are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also take a look at some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.